Choosing Logical Answers, Lesson 3.16 A logical answer is an answer that fits. It makes sense. We can solve problems by crossing out any answer that doesn't fit. When we get rid of the answers that don't fit, it gets us closer to the correct answer. We can find the secret number by crossing out the numbers which don't fit the clues. Here we have a number line that goes from 0 to 10. And here's our clues. We have three clues. Now we can write the secret number in the empty line, the blank line. The first clue is, it is greater than 5. Well, if our secret number is greater than 5, then it's not a 0, it's not a 1, or a 2, or a 3, or a 4, and it's greater than 5, so it's not a 5. It's one of these. It says it is less than 8. So if it's less than 8, it's not a 10 or a 9, and it's less than 8, so it's not even the 8, is it? Now the last clue says it is an odd number. Do you remember your even and odd numbers from our other video? 0 is not it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is not it. 8, 9, 10 is not the secret number. It's either the 6 or the 7. Do you know which one is odd? If you said 7, you're right. 7 is an odd number. 6 is an even number. So it's the 7. See? Let's see if we could do that again. Now we have a number line that goes from 28 all the way up to 44. Our first clue is it's less than 41. So it can't be 44 or 43 or 42 and it's less than 41 so it can't even be 41, can it? It says it's more than 34 so it can't be 28, 29, 30. It can't be any of these and it's more than 34, so it can't even be 34, can it? So now we know it's one of these. It has an 8 in the 1's place. The only one that has an 8 in the 1's place is 38. So the secret number is 38. See? Let's see if we could do another one. Now we've got all these squares with numbers, rectangles with numbers, and we have three clues. Our first clue is it's greater than 50. So that means all the numbers that are smaller than 50, that are less than 50, need to be crossed out because it's greater than 50. So let's cross out the ones that are less than 50. 44 is less than 50. 49 is less than 50, isn't it? Do you see any other ones that are less than 50? Hmm. That's bigger than 50. That's bigger than 50. These are all bigger than 50, aren't they? So I think we got them all. It says it has a 6 in the tens place. So we have to cross out all the ones that don't belong, all the ones that don't have a 6 in the tens place. Well, that doesn't have a 6 in the tens place, and that doesn't have a 6 in the tens place. 56 doesn't have a 6 in the tens place. It's got one in the ones place, but not the tens place. This doesn't have a 6 in the tens place, and 71 doesn't either. All right, so we got rid of all the ones that don't have a 6 in the tens place. We've only got this one, this one, this one, and this one left. Now it says it is not odd. Well, which of these numbers are odd? Do you remember? Well, 2 is an even number. 3 is an odd number. So 63 is odd, and it can't be odd. 
65. 5 is an odd number, so 65 is odd, and it can't be odd. 7 is an odd number, so 67 is odd, so it can't be that one. The only one that's left is 62, and that is an even number. And it said it's not odd, so it must be even. So our secret number is 62. That one was a little harder, wasn't it? Let's try this one. We have all these numbers, and it says it is less than 40. Well, if it's less than 40, it can't be 47, can it? And it can't be 41, because that's more than 40, isn't it? It says it has a 3 in the tens place. Well, then it can't be 29. It can't be 11. It can't be 21. Those don't have a 3 in the tens place. It says it is not even. Well, if it's not even, it must be an odd number, right? So which one of these numbers are even so that we can get rid of them because it can't be even? Four is an even number, so 34 is even, and it's not even, so we get rid of the 34. Six is an even number, so 36 is even. It can't be 36. 38 is even, so it can't be 38. Eight is an even number, so 38 must be even. It only leaves 31 and 33. Our next clue says it is less than 33. Well, if it's less than 33, it can't be 33. It has to be less than this number. That only leaves one number, 31. So the secret number is 31. Okay? Let's try one with some shapes. What shape am I? We've got a square, a rectangle, a triangle, a circle, a trapezoid. That's what this one's called. See how the top is small and the bottom is bigger and the sides are slanted? That's a trapezoid. We also have a star. The first clue says, I have sides made of straight lines. Square has sides made of straight lines, and so does rectangle and triangle. But circle doesn't have straight lines, so we need to get rid of this circle. So it's not circle. Trapezoid has straight lines, and star has some straight lines going around it. The next clue says, I have four sides. Square has four sides. One, two, three, four. Rectangle has four sides. One, two, three, four. But triangle, triangle only has three sides. One, two, three. So we know it's not triangle. And it only has four sides, so it's not star. Star has lots of sides. Star has ten sides, in fact. So it's not star. So it's one of these. Now, the next clue says, all four of my sides are the same length. That means all four of the sides have the same measure. Well, we know trapezoid has a small top and a big bottom, so that's not the same. So we can get rid of trapezoid. All four sides are the same length. Well, a rectangle has a short side and a short side and a long side and a long side. All four of these are not the same length. We have two short sides and two long sides. So it can't be rectangle. So guess what? The only one it can be is the only one that's left is square. I am a square. So see how we can get rid of the answers that don't fit and that will help us find the one that does fit. They actually call this the process of elimination. To eliminate means to get rid of. So we slowly eliminate the wrong answers 
and see what's left over because that'll get us to the right answer, the correct answer. Okay? We're almost done with Chapter 3. I'll see you in the next video and we'll skip count. Bye.